So like outside the UK, where have you done a lot of your shows? Uh, Germany, Sweden, Ireland, Scotland. Hey, hey. This is good. He's this in the UK. <laughs> Um, wait, uh, Germany, Sweden, uh, what have we? Holland, Holland. Holland. uh, yeah, Spain, yeah, uh, for now, hmm? for now, yeah, for now, anyway. <laughs> okay, like, like where, where do you think the biggest reaction was outside the UK? Oh. I think Sweden, you know. Okay, and everyone speaks English out there? Yeah, they, they can speak English. Okay, so they understand what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. So, I'm, I'm hearing all these places, but I'm not hearing the Caribbean, I'm not hearing Africa. And any plans on that? Hopefully, man. Hopefully. Like, like how, do, how did you make an artist really embrace Afrobeat and so forth? Jamaican artist. Yeah. Um, by jumping on tunes with African artists, I suppose. I think, have, mm. I don't know if there's been a collaboration between a, a Jamaican artist and African artist. Yeah, I don't know. Do you feel that there's like, I don't know, some, some low grade animosity between the, the two genres? Do you think the Jamaicans maybe feel a certain type of way about Afrobeat? I can't speak for them. <laughs> I can't speak for them. I don't know. I mean, you know, because there, there's a lot of, for example, there's a lot of criticism with Drake for some, kind of jumping on the, you know, the, the dance hall kind of vibes. You know, people were calling him a culture vulture and everything else like that. Me, me personally, I don't agree with it. But, but certain, certain reggae artists, probably even, you know, you could say more of the old school reggae artists probably feel some type of way. Mm. Do, do, do you feel like, I mean, because like I said, I'm, I'm surprised right now you don't see, you don't see a lot more collaboration between Afrobeat and, and Dancehall. I'm surprised too. It's just you. Someone needs to change that, man. 100%. Hundred percent, because I think you know, I think a Sean Paul Wizkid collabo makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. I'll be serious for the scene, man. So you, you yourself have not worked with any reggae artists? Nah. And you're one of the big Afrobeat artists in the UK, and you haven't worked with any reggae artists. We don't know what's in the pipeline, right? Eh? You know. <clears throat> All right, well, maybe this interview will change things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sean, Sean Paul's been on Vlad TV before. You know? Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe he watches this and reaches out. That'd be a dope collabo, personally. Hopefully, man. You know, maybe Vibes Cartel will record something out of prison and send it out. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. I, heard rumor, I heard rumors he, he gets a cell phone in there every so often. You know, I'm not trying to... I'm trying to say nothing. I, I just heard rumors. Yeah. Yeah. So, you're a weed smoker yourself. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know we got. I, I'm in. I'm in. Uh, Jeez. LA. I see. Hey, that's a hey. Oh yeah, no. Nah, Black man. TV. <laughs> no, nah, this is this is. We got some quality here. You know? I see it still. So, how good is the weed in the UK? I smoked a little bit. It was okay. What? <laughs> Where'd you get it from? See, but you, you got to understand where I come from, yeah. right? Just like I said, okay, weed, weed in New York is just okay. Because mm. where, where I live in California, it, it's legal. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, right now, it's, it's, it's medical only. You need like a little fake doctor's note. You know, you can say, I don't know, <laughs> you know, my back hurts. And, the do and any doctor will basically <laughs> prescribe it to you. So, yeah. but, but, but they just passed a law starting in uh, the top of next year. It's going to be fully recreational, meaning that you don't even need a doctor's note. Okay. Right? And I think there, there's like four or five states in the U.S. where, you know, I think Colorado, 
Washington, there's a few states where it's like 100% legal. Mm. So you have the competition. What do you say? To make the best, well, you have the competition between all the weed growers yeah. <laughs> to make the best weed. Yeah. You know? Whereas when it's illegal, mm. anyone with decent weed could sell it and get it off, you know, as long as it looks okay. But okay, but, but then again, have you been to Amsterdam? Yeah, yeah. Okay, how does the weed in the UK compare to the weed in Amsterdam? Mm. Amsterdam's more, it's more, it's more loud. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was, you see what I, was, I, you see what I mean? <laughs> I was floating, bro. <laughs> right. So, so this is what I'm talking about. You got legal weed versus illegal weed. Okay. And the quality, the quality will speak for itself. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. So, so you're basically telling me that UK weed is just okay compared to Amsterdam. No, oh, you, you can compare to Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah, but UK weed, yeah, you know, it's loud. Well, I'm from anyway. <laughs> All right. What are, what are the, the most popular strains? You know, because I think in the U.S., gelato is considered the popular strain right now. Well, what is the what's the popular weed in the U.K.? Uh, Ami, the amnesia, the lemon. Amnesia. I never heard of that before. Like, amnesia is like, like a, what's like a cheese, kind of, kind of like a cheesy kind of. Huh. Okay. And then you got the lemon. Uh, yeah, that's mine, you know. I'm from the East. <laughs> you get me? So you smoke on that lemon, B. All right. So how do you actually smoke? Do you smoke blunts? you smoke papers? Yeah, papers. Sometimes blunts, depending on the occasion, but normally papers. You put in Rizla, you get me? Rizlas. Rizlas. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I like using pipes. That's my thing. <laughs> you know, rampy, you know. <laughs> yeah. We, weed pipes, not crack pipes. You know what I mean? Don't, don't have looking crazy. This internet, right? Here. We, weed pipes. I hate you still. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but, but, I mean, I, I, you know what it is? Because I feel like papers, they just burn too quick. Yeah, but... It is what it is, man. You ever fuck with edibles? No way. <laughs> Why is that? Well, I'll go crazy, man. <laughs> I'll go crazy, fam. You've tried it before? Yeah, I've tried one or two weed kicks. Yeah, I mean, I've been too high off of, off of edibles before. Yeah, that, that's serious still. <laughs> Can't lie. Do you think that they'll ever make weed legal? in the UK? I wish, man. I don't know. Tech yeah, yeah man. I said, see, dog. I don't know, man. Hopefully, man. Yeah? I mean, are the penalties serious if you get caught with, like, if you get caught with, like, an eighth, like a small amount of weed, like, is that considered a big deal? It's a fine. Okay, but you're not going to go to jail or prison or anything. Depending on who you are, <laughs> right? I'm saying with no priors and everything else. Oh like yeah, that, yeah, like yeah. Can't. It's a fine, no jokes. Though. Okay. Mm. I mean, do you do you get involved in, in UK politics at all? Mm. Nah, man. <laughs> well, if you think about what's happening right now in the UK, yeah, and you think about Brexit, mm. it seems like a lot of that was sort of an anti-immigrant kind of sentiment. Mm. Would you agree? Yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah, maybe, man. I don't know, man. I don't, right. I don't I mean, really pay attention to that stuff. Well, you were born in the UK? Yeah. Your parents were immigrants? Yeah. So... I mean, you don't pay attention, but these these laws that are getting passed in your country mm. is affecting people like your parents. Real shit, yeah. 
it is still, man. That's why we gotta try and do better to get out, man, you know? Do you feel that in general, there's, there's a certain feeling of animosity towards immigrants that are happening in the UK? In some areas. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. You've never experienced it? Nah. Your mother's never experienced it? Nah. She hasn't, you know. <laughs> okay. Not that I know of, anyway. What about overall racism? When, 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 you look at, when you look at the state of racism in the UK, because, I mean, the, the UK and the US have slightly different histories mm. when it comes to black people. Mm. The US had slavery, yes. which didn't happen that long ago. You know, you're talking about 150 years ago. Yeah. People, people, you know, people who are living today have great, great grandparents that were slaves. Mm. So, so there's, there's an underlying feeling of animosity sometimes in the U.S. when it comes to, to racial relations. When you, look at, when you look at the U.K., how do you think that is? How do you think there? How, how, do, you feel, how do you feel racism in terms of the role that it plays in the U.K.? It, yeah, it still happens in some areas. It happens, man. But, uh, to me, it's all it's pointless, man. It's pointless. I got, I got different kind of people I know, fam. So pointless, but it happens in some areas, man. All right. So, have you yourself experienced racism? No. Nah. At all? Literally haven't. Yeah, I haven't, you know. Have you ever been pulled over or harassed by a police officer just because of how you look? I, in terms of that, yeah, that's happened. Uh, yeah, 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 that's happened. I don't know, man. The feds are just dickheads anyway, man. They do what they do, fam. You get me? Okay. Mm. Have you ever have you ever got into a have you ever, have you ever been harassed by police? Have you ever been, you know, physically assaulted by police? Yeah, a few. Like, a few have grappled me. You know, it happens, man. Uh, how bad did it get? Uh, not too bad. Not like they're beaten. Nah, no way. But. Okay. Yeah.